Hi everyone, this is Michelle with Paw Print Pet Blog, and for once I do not have any animals with me. It is very hot and humid here today, so both the dogs are currently camped out in front of the air conditioner. But since it's hot, I thought maybe I could make this for them. This is a, oops, sorry about the glare there, Pet Cakes Frozen Treats for Dogs. We actually received this in our July Pooch Perks box. So you can check out the review for that. I'll link down below. But I figured today would be a good day to make a frozen treat for the boys to hopefully help them cool down a bit. So here's everything that the little kit came with. There's the instructions here. It came with this package um, of mix and this really cute plastic dog bone container. And I'm sure you could reuse this after you use it to make these treats as well, which is pretty cool. So the instructions are pretty basic. You mix the mix packet that they included with one half cup of warm water and then freeze it. So I'm gonna go ahead and I have my warm water all set here. So we'll just pour this in. Okay, and give that a mix. So if you look at the in the uh, packaging here, it says this is a hip and joint frozen treat, high in collagen. So I'm hoping maybe this will be good for Kit. We do give him joint supplements. He has very mild and luckily easily managed arthritis in his back legs. It's not too bad. It doesn't really hold him back from doing anything, but hey, anything we can do to help him out, especially if he thinks it's a treat, is awesome. Let me go ahead and uh, give this a bit more of an intense mix and I'll be right back. I think this is about as good as I'm going to get it. The mix does seem to have thickened the water a little bit. Um, it doesn't smell amazing to me, but for me that's the case with most dog treats. So I'm sure even though it doesn't smell good, the boys will like it. Just go ahead and pour it into the mold. But it looks like that amount they tell you to make with the half cup fits the mold pretty much perfectly, which is awesome. So I made a little spot here in our otherwise very crowded freezer. Luckily this little mold here is pretty easy to carry. It's not flimsy or anything at all so you don't have to worry about it flopping over and everything falling out. Uh, let's hope it fits. Maybe I'll have to move some stuff around. So there you go. I got it to fit and I'm going to give this a couple hours and we'll see how the boys like it. So it is about five hours later and I'm pretty sure this is done. It looks maybe a little bit wet still in the middle but the ends look frozen and I think it's frozen enough that I can give it to the dogs to try out. So I have the boys with me now. Here's Fen and there's Kit. He's in his cone today because he has allergies and he's been biting at himself. But anyway, sorry if the lighting changed a bit. I had to turn my flash off so it wouldn't be shining in their eyes. But anyway, on the instructions here, it shows how you can cut it to serve it. So it shows cutting it in four slices if you can see that there and then it has feeding instructions where 
It says for a small dog, one to two servings, medium, two to three servings, and a large dog, three to four. So I think what I'm going to do is cut it into four, like in the picture, and give them each one serving. I don't want to risk causing any stomach upset or anything like that, especially for Kit. He's kind of notorious for getting an upset stomach. You can see Ben's quite excited, but let me go ahead and get this cut. I got it cut into pieces. Here it is in their bowls. I added some of their supplements as well, so that's why if you notice there's a couple little additions and this is kids bowl and some stuff on top on Ben's bowl. Once I cut it, the pieces popped out pretty easily, so that was great. I have to say, like, I touched the top a little bit with my finger and then without thinking, I put it in my mouth. And it was not very good. Although, with how excited these guys are, and sorry for their eyes glowing, I have my flash on again. But with how excited they are, I'm hoping they'll like it, even though I didn't. So let me go ahead and uh, see what they think. Ben, I don't think, was too sure how he was supposed to eat it at first. He's not even really going after the big cube. He's kind of licking the bowl where it started melting a bit. But Kit has the idea, although he looks like he's going to run off with his piece. Probably make a mess. Yep, there's a carrot running off with his. And Fen Fen look in the bowl. Fen's eating it, however, slowly, which is a good sign because he's usually the picky one. If he doesn't like anything, he'll walk away and leave his bowl. He obviously likes it, although I don't think he's too sure how he's supposed to eat it. He's kind of just looking at it. And then Kit took his out of his bowl and ran off. I'm sure he's eating it on the living room floor. Oh, and there are fangos too. If you want more information about this treat, go ahead and check out our blog. It's pawprintpetblog.com, and I'll go ahead and leave the link down below. I'm going to do a written review over there on this same treat, so that's probably going to just go over stuff like the ingredients and stuff like that, where you can buy it, all that kind of stuff that is a little bit hard for me to put in a video. Overall, I think this is a fun treat. It was really easy to make. It's great for a hot day, and I like that we got the joint, or hip and joint formula. So I at least feel like I'm giving them a treat, but maybe it has a little bit of health, health benefits as well. And anyway, I'm going to let Ben finish his up and kiss in the other room, licking the bowls. I saved the other two pieces. I'll probably give it to, to them tomorrow. Thanks as always for watching. I will talk to everyone again soon and have fun.